And it's like the whole room is just filled with this thick green and red web, you know, and it's coming out of Laura, and it's coming out of the table, and it's coming out of the walls, and it's coming out of the floor, you know, and all of a sudden, my face hit the table, you know, and I blacked out, so Laura dragged me outside and laid me on the grass, you know, hoping I'd wake up, you know, and then her grandma came home, who she lived with, you know, and her grandma called an ambulance, you know. So I'm laying in the hospital, passed out. They got my brain on a brain scanner, and you know how your brain's supposed to go beep, 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 beep? Well, I just went, uh, straight across, you know. And uh, the doctor goes to my mind, he goes, I don't think your son is going to make it. Sorry, you know, I think he's going to die, you know. I don't think there's any way we can bring him, you know, wake him up or nothing, you know. So all of a sudden, I, um... I smell it's real strong smell and it's smelling salts they got in front of my nose and I start to wake up and all I see is bright lights and I'm like damn where the hell am I you know and then I realize I'm in the hospital so I start checking my pockets for the acid which they analyzed one hit it turned out to be a uh, blotter paper dipped in liquid PCP with a little bit of downer in it and uh, they said if it hadn't have been for that little bit of downer I would be dead but anyways I'm checking my pockets for the acid, you know, because I was going to drop my other three hits in the hospital, you know. And uh, all of a sudden, my ma walks in the room, and she's holding a bag of acid like this, you know. I'm like, damn, you know, now I can't drop it, the rest of my acid in the hospital. So she, she flushes it down the toilet, you know. And uh, so um, then uh, they kept me in the hospital another month, and uh, they said I was the worst case Ha, 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 ha.